Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading and this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take the parts that do resonate. If it does not, leave the parts that do not resonate as those may be meant for someone else. All right, so we're going to use our animal, animal oracle cards to see what are you struggling with. So we have the miracles are endless, definitely. And I have this in my charm and that was just sticking out to me and I feel like that that resonates with the cow spirit so what do you need to look at we have turn knowledge into wisdom love it energy is coming in we have be peace being peaceful being peaceful with what's going on in your life now and not being frustrated by it because you're losing hope in something right not that I'm saying to give up on your goals or your dreams, but I almost feel like sometimes like we're wait, when we're waiting for things to come in, we get in such a frustrated energy that we're not even enjoying what's going on now. So turning knowledge into wisdom is realizing that if you've noticed that in the past that when you just let things go and you focus on the now and you stop being frustrated about things that are not happening for you and you try and make the best out of the moment now or you try and work on those things that if you want goals to happen, you start researching, you start looking, um, you start learning about things if that's what helps but if you know that okay if I get out of this frustrated energy and I just focus on the now that I can have that peace that I can let go of that frustration and knowing that when the time is right that things are going to fall into place and kind of learning from your past like with the energies that you've had and those patterns that you've had in the past where if you just kind of let things go, if there's nothing more that you can do, but if it's something that you're not believing that things are going to happen for you, but is it, are you putting the effort into it, right? To learn about the situation, to put yourself in the energy or the atmosphere of things will happen for you, right? Um, to, to surround yourself, to put yourself in that energy instead of like sitting on the couch and just as an example, say that you, you want something to happen, but you just sit on the, on the couch and you don't do anything to make it happen, to research it, to learn about it, to surround yourself with those people or those situations that it's already happening for and to learn from it and see what are those activities that what are those things those actions that you can do to push yourself in that direction right and is that something that you have to learn from and really take a hard look at yourself and saying okay am I making the most of it am I learning what I can learn have I done everything that I can do okay if I've done everything that I can do then I just have to let it go and when the time is right things will fall in place that maybe that situation or that person is not ready to happen for me now so I, so that on the other end is things are being worked out, that it doesn't necessarily have to be on your end. All right, so let's get some Lenormand. What else with this cow spirit? All right, so the sun came out upside down, but I'll take that. I wasn't going to, but I was like, yeah, like if you're struggling with that, the sun is upside down, that you're not feeling hopeful, that you're not feeling like things are happening for you. And... I don't know, are they all upside down? They're all upside down. All right, so we'll just leave that. Um, then we have the snake, but that's reversed. Right, flipping that, turning that around, right? Seeing that, I, I almost see like, what do you need to look at is that, okay, are, are you your, are you kind of, are you sabotaging things for yourself? Are you putting yourself in this frustrated energy? Are you making your, you know, are you making yourself angry? Are you making the effort to research things and to make things happen? What effort are you putting in there? It's just questions to ask yourself and to really see what energy or effort you're putting in there or you're not putting in there. Um, 
and taking responsibility for what it is that you're doing or you're not doing. Yes, yeah, sometimes things just happen for us or things just don't happen to us. and We have no control over that. But when we see what's happening or not happening, what do we do from there? What do you do from there? Do you take control of the situation? Do you see, okay, what am I doing to contribute to the negative or the positive of the situation and then make those adjustments? Or do you just kind of accept it and let it be? It's just taking a hard look at the, the self-involvement in a situation. All right. And then the magnifying glass with the, with the piece is how do you make that happen? Finding that peace within each day, within each moment, within each challenge. All right, I don't know why the cards are, I, okay. What I did is I fixed my tablecloth, so I think I put all the cards in upside down, so I'm just realizing that now. <laughs> so I'm just turning every, because I took everything off and then I adjusted the tablecloth, so that's probably why everything is upside down. But I'll just take it because it came out that way. I almost feel like all of these colors are the same here. The orange and yellow and red. And with the Cap Cap Capricorn card being upside down is that you're not feeling like yourself, right? That you're not into your own power or your own energy. That you're feeling weak. That you're letting the toxic energy, you're letting the negativity surround you. All right. Yeah. Let's see. Let me put that there and let me put this here. Sorry, I'm a little thrown off with the cards being upside down, but we're okay. Nine of Swords and the Fool. Look at that. I love that. Going into this, what do you need to look at energy? How do you flip things around? Um, then we have the Five of Wands. Sometimes you have to fight for situations. You have to fight for your happiness. You have to fight for, okay, how do I take control of this situation? How do I move past from this? We have the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Empress, we have the Knight of Pentacles, let's see, three, three, and then three, three of Cups, and two of Cups. I love it. Very exciting. So over here, like I said, I feel like we have kind of all of this energy, and even with the Nine of Swords here, but then we have a little blue that's coming in, and then the blue transfers over to the Fool, and then it's almost like everything switches over to green, and then a little bit of blue. So it's almost like that feeling of change and switching and evolving and that movement, right, within our lives, within our days, with months, years, that seem to happen. So I feel like if you're struggling with this, you're not feeling like yourself. If you're having a lot of anxiety, if you're having a lot of stress, for some reason I'm thinking headaches. Are you having headaches? Um, and it's almost like you're overthinking and you're overprocessing and you're like, it's almost like you're trying to will something with your mind and like, I want it to happen. I want it to happen. But I feel like it's, it's good to be in that mind space of, I want to leave this energy, but I want to focus on this energy. I want things to come in. I want to be peaceful, but sometimes we can overthink it and we, and it becomes too much and we become stuck in that energy. And it's like, okay, I just have to take a break from this, right? Because if your mind is always thinking and you're always in this Nine of Swords energy, it, be, it becomes exhausting. And I feel like that turns into the fool, which is just being silly and being funny and, and being lighthearted about things. I feel that with Capricorn can be very serious. I'm a Capricorn sun and a Capricorn rising. I feel like I take things too seriously. I do have a funny side and I can be silly, but I feel like because Capricorn is an earth sign that they're more grounded, they take things more seriously um, and kind of look at the seriousness of things. And sometimes I feel like, especially for me, is to be more lighthearted, to be more silly, to be like, okay, I'm frustrated that this isn't happening at the speed that I want it to happen to. I don't want to fall into negative energy. I know that in the past that that's what I would do, but it would only stop the progress of moving forward because I've stopped it because I'm in negative energy that I have to fight to let things go and just let things happen and let things fall into place are there things that I can do to move the process forward if there can I will do it if I can't then I will just go along my day with what I already have planned what I already have going on and when these things happen when these things come in for me that it it was the right time for them to happen, that I didn't push anything, I didn't force anything, 
that I accepted, okay, that it wasn't on my time, it was on the universe's time. And when you let that go, I just feel like you're holding on to a lot of things. That's why I was thinking like headache. And that when you let that go and you're just free, dove spirit, be peace, and just looking at those positive things that make you happy and those relationships, that the energy that can make you happy throughout the day, then you're not stuck in this energy here of this frustration and the sun upside down and the devil energy and the nine of swords energy. I just feel like it's how we look at things and how we pursue perceive things and turning knowledge into wisdom right learning from our past okay when I did this that never worked in the past so why am I thinking it's going to work now what can I change now what is my behavior what is my pattern that I can change if you want something you have to fight for it you have to make the change you can't give that you can't leave that to anyone else right you you have to make the change and that's what I've done for me too, is, is to realize things and that I have to make the change on how I perceive things, how I react to things, how I do things, how do I enjoy each day. Like I said before, like before I was always trying to rush through each day, just get me to the next day, get me to the next week, get me to the next month. And it was like I was just trying to skip over all the days so I could get to that point where I wanted to get and then I'd get there and I'm like, okay. It doesn't matter that I just reached this. I just want to get even further. And I wasn't enjoying each day. I wasn't taking, making the most of each moment and each day. And that's something that I had to look at. All right. So let's get uh, energy uh, wisdom oracle. Never ending story. That's what I'm saying is repeating patterns. Do you repeat patterns over here? Are there patterns that are being repeated over here? And knowledge into wisdom is learning, okay, if I this is how I handled things before, that it didn't work for me before, why do I think it's going to work for me now? And what is it that I need to change up so it's different now? And then we have the Star Dragons. Star Dragons. Star Dragons card for this. We have the Self. Gathering your power. Gathering your power. How do you gather your power? How do you gather your power? What does that represent to you? Is it putting all your power and your energy into the nine of swords is it taking it away from that and focusing it on something else all right now let's get an energy oracle that one kind of fell out so let's take that one we have attachment what is your attachment are you attached to something are you attached to the nine of swords? Sometimes for some of us, we feel that our safe space is being in this nine of swords energy, is having this anxiety, having this um, worry, um, worrying about things. And yeah, sometimes it comes on and you can't control it. But I feel that sometimes there are things that you can change so that you can alleviate some of it. So we have her that is attached to the pole and she's taking, she's looking at the mask. She's taking the mask off. It's like she realization that, okay, do I have a negative attachment to something? Do I have an attachment to this never ending story where I'm always repeating the same things over and over and over and I'm not getting anywhere? Looking at those situations, having that attachment, taking off that mask, moving away from the Nine of Swords. Those are things that you have to look at. Those are things that you have to realize. Those are things that only you have the power to change. Only you have the power to take control of. Okay, so let's get a crystal card for this reading. Crystal card energy for this reading for Capricorn. Crystal card It's taking a little bit here, so I feel like it's just this is something that's just going to take time. All right, this one here. That's an interesting one. Let's see, we have Obsidian. 
Shadows mirror amorphous. A dark and mysterious crystal, obsidian reaches into the depths of our shadow, shedding light on what needs to be healed in order to move forward. Exactly, that's what this is, is, is I feel like is shedding light on what needs to be healed as what is this attachment? What is this never ending story? What is this nine of swords? Why is this, why do you not feel like yourself? Why is the sun upside down? Obsidian serves as a mirror, revealing our deepest truths. Obsidian crystalline structure is amorphous, moving beyond conventional time to dip into the past, present, and future, and wielding great power to clear any obstacles, obstacles which I feel is attachment and this mask. Use obsidian as a shield against psychic attacks and to ground your base chakra to planet Earth. So it's those things that try to come in, that try to throw you off that try to disorient you and try to put you into this energy over here and seeing okay are there triggers around me are there things that are around me that are making me feel a certain way or that are making me feel heavy or making me feel sad or making me feel like this attachment to something that is not healthy to me what is that and how do I work on that to move away from that how do I change the story right that's something that you have to look at okay so let's grab a few more look at that I love it it's butterfly the butterfly and we have the dove again I love it that goes with that and then we have protected all right thank you so much for watching as always stay positive stay safe and I will see you next time